Hello everybody, welcome to the Comic Gamer Movie Show. My name is Deshaun, and today I'm here to review the new and final X-Men Apocalypse trailer. Now, I mean, now this video might be a little short because, to be honest, they really didn't show anything new in the trailer. They showed little spoilers, oh by the way, spoiler alert. So, don't watch this, so if you don't want to hear this, you might want to skip past this. But really the only new thing they showed, really, was... That Wolverine is confirmed to be in this movie. Wolverine's in this movie. There's a scene near the end where um it looks like Cyclops, young Cyclops, young Jean Grey are like getting out, breaking out of something or something. And uh, Mystique is like, hold it, true. Sorry, 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 but Mystique is like um you guys got out really easily. He's like, well, something along that line. I can't remember the line exactly because to be honest, Mystique, I'm still not really on on with this Mystique being a good guy thing. I'm still not on with this Mystique. Leading the X Men, cause in my head I'm a big comic book fan, and in my head she will always be a bad guy. I like any like anytime I, when I was a kid watching the cartoon shows, she was always a bad guy. So seeing her be like some good guy, it's just like oh, it's just because of Jennifer Lawrence. And even then, Jennifer Lawrence looks a little weird on her lines, but that's but that's a story for another time. Anyways, Wolverine has been confirmed in this movie, and you see his claw pop out. But my thinking, and what a lot of other people are saying, is you're not really gonna see a lot of Wolverine. You're probably gonna see him. This, like, what's happening is, whatever happening in the movie is going to be him breaking out and getting, breaking out and getting his claws. Because, if you remember, Wolverine was captured at the end of, um, Days of Future's Past, and he didn't have his claws. So, this is the only way he could have got him is if he was being experimented on, and it looks like the kind of coloring of the facility looks like the same facility he would have been experimented on in the other movie. So, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, Wolverine is being... They found they find Wolverine being experimented on, and that's what helps. So I'm just gonna go out on and say that. So, but this trailer doesn't show anything new. You guys see a little bit, a little more scenes from Apocalypse, a little bit. Oh well, you get to see this one scene with like this glowy stuff going over his body, and he becomes Apocalypse. Gets a little bit more with Psylocke. You got to see her fight um Beast. You got to see Angel fight um Nightcrawler a little bit. Um, uh, but that's really about it. Um, other than that, it's really just like any of the other trailers they've shown. And, um, I have to admit, this movie is really going under the radar for me. It really is. Like, um, because Super, because Batman, I was so hyped for Batman vs. Superman. Well, I was, anyway. Seth wasn't, but I was hyped. And I'm so hyped for Civil War, especially with all the good news I'm hearing about it. So, um, we'll see how, um, the X-Men do. I like, I loved, um, First Class, and I really liked, um, Days of Future's Past, so, um, Apocalypse should be pretty good, like, I don't know where they go after this, I'm hearing that they want to do the Dark Phoenix stuff, but I'm like, uh, oh, you sure you want to do that after, you know, X-Men Last Stand tried to do the Dark Phoenix stuff, and that really didn't work out very well, and, and it seems like they're doing it a little too soon, so I hope they're not doing the Dark Phoenix stuff, um, I suppose they can just do Apocalypse stuff again, but on a movie basis, having one of those big, like, big, big characters, like, like, Marvel has Loki, but Loki, I mean, he's a big villain, but he's not a big villain, he's like a big villain in the same level that, the, like, the Joker is a big villain, in the sense that the Joker's a big villain, but you feel like he couldn't really affect, like, the entire freaking team, like, he couldn't be, like, this intergalactic, like, force, like, that's, like, so scary. He's like, you can handle the Joker. Like, I think Superman can handle the Joker. One person can handle the Joker. And I think that's the same thing with Loki, is he's just, I mean, he took him an, an army and Flash having Thanos backing him up to take on the Avengers. But, with a guy like, um, Apocalypse, who is basically, for all intents and purposes, the, um, Fox's Marvel version of Thanos, basically, with his power level, because he's the most powerful mutant, it's like, where do you go from there? So... We'll see what they do, and without Heath Ledger, I mean, Heath Ledger, Hugh Jackman, and they really can't do anything with um Deadpool in this time, because Deadpool's way in the future, so I don't know what the fuck Fox is going to do. I'm so confused with Fox right now. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that by the time um Infinity War comes around, maybe Marvel and Fox, maybe Marvel, Disney slash Marvel, regular Marvel, can work out a deal with Fox so that they can um, come together and bring everything together because it seems like there's nowhere else to go for the X-Men. So I'm hoping that's what happens. But um, if not, then um, we'll see what they do. But um, this trailer was okay. It wasn't that great of a trailer, but it's a final trailer. And the movie comes out and, um, well, it comes out literally, um, I think, 20 days after Civil War does. So it's coming out soon. It, I mean, it, it's one of those, like I said, it's a movie that sneaks up on me. Like, after again, like, I completely went over mad. I'm like, oh, yeah, Apocalypse. Okay, cool. But yeah, that's my review. Okay, trailer. Not really sold on um, Mystique. A little bit more Apocalypse. Kind of cool. Cool shots from Psylocke. Um, yeah. Oh, and there was a one funny part. This might be a spoiler, too, where um, 
Quicksilver's like, yeah, uh, Magneto's my dad. <laughs> like, and he's like, okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, okay, just come out with it then. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I got to say on the X-Men um, Apocalypse final trailer. Um, like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. And if you um, have any opinions on the X-Men um, final trailer, let me know. Because uh, I'm still not completely sold on this new movie. But we'll see what happens. I've seen, like I said, I wasn't sold on um, First Class. Saw First Class and was like, oh, hey, okay. I'm digging it. So they can do it without Wolverine. Apparently, even though I'm still the biggest Wolverine fan. But thank you for joining me on the Comic Game Movie Show. Tell me what your thoughts in the comic section about this movie. And see you next week.